Today I'm checking out the brand new LED mirror panel logo units from AutoBeam. Alright, here we are then, the brand new LED mirror panel logo units from AutoBeam. Part of the ambient unit range, these units offer maximum customization for your car. Uh, the reason why I have three sets is because they are available in an array of colors and I have three of those here. I have red, green and blue. You can tell a difference because there's a little sticker on the back, you see that's the blue one. Uh, this one is the red one. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be testing out all three and showing you the differences, so keep watching for that. The other main focus of customization on these units is the in the logo so obviously these are going on my RS so they're going to have an RS logo you can't really see it uh, from just like sitting here but we'll see it once they are installed uh, but you can get the ST logo ST line and you can get the S logo as well um, so that in combination with all the different color options you can achieve the ultimate combination for your desired level of customization other innovations then that AutoBeam have baked into these are the latest optical projector material producing a more uniform form light rather than a dot LED effect or one directional beam that you would get from cheaper imported units. Hopefully you can see the little projector lens there is a very specific angle the auto beam have worked out and everything about these it just screams quality it just looks exactly as you would want like visually everything looks really spot on and just the feel of the clear layer on top is absolutely lovely it just feels like the maximum possible quality. So without further ado let's get the installation started. All right, the first thing that we need to do is of course to remove the existing puddle unit. So to do that, we do that from behind the glass. So we need to pop the glass out. So in order to do that, the first thing that I need to do is to angle the glass this way so that I have a bit of a gap here to get my fingers in. So I'll do that now. Okay, so with that little gap created, I just get my fingers in here and give it a gentle pry, but I don't want to just yank it all the way off because there is an electrical connection here. Obviously, if I just remove it with a lot of force, that would break. So we want to be very careful just to pop it off first, like so. And then you can see that is the electrical connection right there. So we want to just very carefully rotate that around and set that out of the way. Okay, next thing, there is a tiny little screw in here that we need to remove, and that is a T8 Torx. Okay, next thing, we need to disconnect the electrical connection for the existing puddle lights. So that is this for me. Um, now, mine looks like this. It's this discrete wire because I have the AutoBeam Performance LED puddle lights already installed. The stock unit would have this rubber connection just going in the side, much like we're going to have with our new AutoBeam ambient units, uh, but you'll see that very, very soon. Uh, but the principle is the same. It's the same kind of connection. Um, so now we have access to the side here where there's a little plastic clip so what we need to do is simply push that in and we can pop the puddle light out can be kind of stiff so you might find a trim tool handy um, in order to do this okay and then it just pops out from below all right, here we can do a very quick side by side. This is one of the new ambient units from AutoBeam that I am going to be installing right now in a second. And this is the one that I just popped out, uh, which I have been using for a good few years now and still works great and I absolutely love it. So yeah, installation is gonna be very similar, just pretty much the opposite. Um, so let's go and do that now. All right then, from the pack, you need to get the puddle unit that is for the appropriate mirror. For example, this one being the right hand side we have a little notch for the clip at the left and then we have where the screw goes in at the rear so this is the right one left and rear for that so we want to feed this up from the bottom and then it should click into place now there is a little notch right here which will line up with a notch right here on our new unit as well ok 
Okay, now we bring back our little T8 screw. It's gonna be hard for you to really see it going in here, but you can see it quite clearly that there is a hole right there for it to go. Don't over tighten it, you are playing with plastic, and if you do over tighten it, you could break it. So now we just need to connect up our electrical connection. So we literally just push this on. So now before I put the glass back on, I will just make sure that this works. It sure does. Okay, last thing then is just getting our glass back in place. So we carefully rotate it back around the right way and we just line it up to where it should be. And then we just give it a push. Simple as that. So now I just need to repeat the exact same process on the other side and I will be installation complete. One last interesting thing to show you um, on the other side here, just when I'm doing the installation, you might have noticed this little screw on the back of the unit. Now what that is for, is for adjusting the angle of the logo that is projected onto the ground. So hopefully you can see the projection of the logo onto my hand and turning the screw, you can see it rotating. So you can basically just dial in the exact angle that you want. There we go, that is the installation complete and a showcase of different colours of the new AutoBeam LED mirror panel logo units. I think they look really great, I think they look cool, the quality is nice, the installation is very very quick and very very easy so you can achieve awesome customization in a very short space of time and I think that's great. So I hope you like them as much as I do and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very very soon. Thank you once again, goodbye.